Hello everybody, welcome back to Fonz Talk Stories. It is I, Fonz the Falcon. Thank you so much for checking out another video on this channel. And guess what? The series is back. That's right. If you remember last year, if you're around this time last year, I did this for every single week. I looked back at the past week's games. I did my top five uniform matchups from that week. And if you want to check out all of them, the playlist is down below. I did it for weeks one through 18 and the 10 best uniform matchups from the 2023 regular season. And the same thing applies for this one. We're bringing it back. I'm ready for it. I'm excited. Week one had some good uniform matchups, but not a lot of great ones. Some that really wouldn't even make the top five, but I was able to figure up a top five list and also included one to honorable mention as you know from last year it's simple i do the uniform matchup i don't care about the game itself remember on this channel we just strictly talk the uniforms we go from everything the helmets jerseys pants and socks and how well they clash together on the field how good it looked in the eye now it's very simple here is the fonts talk jerseys week one best uniform matchups but as per usual we start off with a dishonorable mention which was the worst uniform matchup from week one of the nfl season there was a lot of ones you could make an argument for but i think it was the clear cut Worst uniform matchup was the Minnesota Vikings and New York Giants. You see, the Vikings with their standard away set here. The standard purple hum with the white jersey, purple pants, and purple socks. But the main thing here was the Giants with their century red debuting throwbacks. Now, the Giants are celebrating their 100 seasons of Giants football, and the uniform sets were from different eras of the Giants football team. You see, the helm was from the 1938 season. The jerseys from 1933, and their tan pants and red socks was from 1925. And to be honest, it should just stick with that times in the 20s and 30s because this uniform matchup just did not look good mainly on the Giants now with the Vikings it, their uniform isn't that bad maybe it might be time for an upgrade but you know their white jersey purple pants combination it's not bad maybe it might be a little bit outdated but it kind of depends on who they play up against and for this case it was the Giants because the tan pants kind of think ruined it here and even that helmet if they did the helmet just straight up blue or even the pants were blue or red or maybe even just white it would have been different here the jersey it's not terrible pairing up all that stuff it was just absolutely horrible thankfully the only gonna wear this for one game it was only worn for week one i'm assuming they're not gonna wear it anymore because it has been announced for the rest of the uniform schedule but these throw them in the trash this is definitely a future looking back at a random alternate jersey horrible jersey now let's get into the top five number five the tennessee titans versus the chicago bears now in other weeks this probably wouldn't even made the top five but actually wasn't that bad because again there wasn't that many great noticeable uniform matchups now the titans here went their standard navy helmet with the white jersey and the titans blue light blue pants and the navy socks the bears went with their traditional look here the navy standard helmet the navy blue jersey white pants and navy blue socks the bears with a very classic classic uniform much like with the steelers and raiders and 49ers they would never change their uniforms they've been the same for quite some time it's still a good one but times when i've been an advocate saying times should definitely change your uniforms but for some reason it just works here with this bears team now it's three different colors here between the tops and bottoms here with the dark blue light blue and the white but it actually kind of goes well together i think the underrated aspect for the titans uniform was the navy helmet and the navy socks it somehow worked well especially with the light blue pants now again the titans should eventually change their uniforms but for some reason this combination worked here in the light blue pants i can't wait to see when they bring the light blue jersey number four let's go with the monday night matchup of the new york jets and san francisco 49 the Jets debuted their brand new uniforms. Well, kind of, because the legacy white uniform they wore, they wore last year's a throwback. Now it's an official regular set. They paired it with their new standard legacy green helmet with the legacy green pants and socks. And the Niners with their standard gold helmet, red jersey, gold pants, and red socks. But some players ended up wearing white also. Overall, this is definitely a classic match of Niners. Like I said, with the Bears previously, classic uniforms don't see really change with them ever. And the Jets' new uniforms, I do like them a lot. Maybe the green socks were a little bit too much. Maybe make it white socks to match with the jersey. But overall, it was a nice, colorful matchup. Definitely a nice throwback feel to it. I don't know why the Jets upgrades was a lot better. The Jets didn't even make an appearance a lot last year, but with these new uniforms, I think they're going to make a lot of appearances in the future. And the Niners, no stranger to this top five here on Fonz Talk. They make it all the time. It's just a classic uniform here. Number three, the AFC South showdown between the Houston Texans and Indianapolis Colts. The Texans, much like the Jets, got some brand new uniforms as well. And I got to say, they look so, so good on the field. The Texans went their standard deep steel blue helmet, Liberty white jersey, the deep steel blue pants and socks. And the Colts went their standard white helmet the speed blue jersey white pants and speed blue socks Colts is another team with a classic uniform that don't make any changes here but it looks really good against the texans again the texans uniforms that road uniform with the horns on the side an underrated aspect of this jersey again it was a nice colorful matchup here i did like this one a lot that Colts uniform it's a staple on this fonts talk jersey one the texans didn't make an appearance a lot but i think with the new uniforms they definitely will number two let's go with the green bay packers and philadelphia eagles yes the friday night game down in brazil with the horrible horrible field conditions and the jordan love injury unfortunately but again we do not care about the actual gameplay here but i gotta say it was a very nice uniform match with the packers with their standard gold helmet dark green jersey and the gold pants along with the dark green slash white socks and the eagles here one with something a little bit different the black alternate helmet made a return after being hiatus last year due to the kelly green uniforms 
white jersey, black pants, and the white socks. The Eagles have toyed around with the white jersey, black pants combination last year. I'm glad they brought back the black alternate helmet. Now, the circumstances was that apparently down in Sao Paulo, Brazil, they couldn't wear the green helmet for some reason. They ended up wearing the black alternate helmet, but then there was a confusion because teams can get a third alternate helmet if they got brand new uniforms like the Jets and Lions previously mentioned in past videos. But I guess the Eagles, apparently with the new war mark they have, it does qualify as uniform change so they can bring back these black helmets. But it's confusing because they're going to be wearing their, the Kelly Green throwbacks twice and the rule is you can only wear the alternate helmets and jerseys three times. So are we going to see the black alternate jersey? But regardless, this was actually a very, very good uniform match. I think if they wore the green helmets, I don't know if you would think it would make the list on here, but the black helmet with the gold helmet going together, it looked really, really good. I think this might be the Eagles' best road like setup here with the black helmet and pants here and the Packers now green and gold doesn't really mesh well together but for some reason much like with the Oakland A's it works so well with the Green Bay Packers Packers another team that doesn't really make any change here they still have the Reebok design template uniform where other teams want the new Nike template but still they're very classic Packers uniforms are really nice in my opinion it was a good good matchup and number one the Los Angeles Rams and Detroit Lions Sunday Night Football matchup was just instant beauty what a good way to kick off Sunday Night Football in the 2024 NFL season now the Lions are no stranger on here last they made up on here a lot i think the most out of all the teams in the history of fonts talks jerseys and they got some brand new uniforms and i made a video on it a while back and i have to say i absolutely loved all of them from the blues the whites and the alternate blacks i think it's the case that they're going to make them a lot more times in the future of this season and the rams too now i've been advocating i think they should change the uniforms but they actually looked well meshed well with the lions here the rams with their standard royal blue helmet the white jersey the sole pants and the royal blue socks and the lions with their standard silver helm with the honolulu blue face mask and the jersey pants and socks was all honolulu Honolulu blue. Now, a lot of Lions fans on Twitter called them the all blueberries, but I gotta say, it looked really good in them. Now, monochrome uniforms, it's very hit or miss, but again, it worked well with the Lions here. And the Rams, the rubbery numbers, I'm not a fan of. And again, I'm not a huge, huge fan of the Rams uniforms, but in this case, it kind of worked well with the Lions. Now, should the Rams go back to their old St. Louis uniforms? I absolutely think they should. But I got to say, it did look good for this uniform matchup. And that is my week one top uniform matchups from the 2024 season. Which was your favorite uniform matchup? Comment down below. Was your number one the same as mine? Did I rank one too high, too low again? Let me know down below. As always, you can comment down below and definitely follow the page and subscribe to the channel at Fonz Talk Jerseys. Follow the Instagram page at Fonz Talk Jerseys as well. Check out some of the shorts channel, some jersey stories on here, some short videos. You can check out my YouTube page at Fonz DeFalco. My main YouTube channel, I do a lot of commentary, some shorts on there. Kind of a grab bag of videos, non-jersey related. You can follow my Instagram and TikTok also at Fonz the The links for everything will be down below. Like I said, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. The series is back. Stay tuned for next week's week two best uniform matchups. And of course, some other videos along the way well on this channel. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the love and support. And by the way, it's been over a year since this channel started. We're almost close to 600 subscribers. And again, I greatly appreciate the Jersey community I kind of built here on this channel. I thank you. I can't thank you guys enough. But literally, I can't speak because I'm just so happy about it. But again, if you're on here, subscribe to my other channel, Fonz DeFalco. Subscribe to my other stuff. Follow everything. Again, links down below. I appreciate all the love and support because you guys are absolutely the best. Have a good day, good night, good evening. Whenever you're watching said video, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace out.